All right, I think y'all waited long enough for part three of the series that I started from blueprint to construction. I figured since I'm in this state of mind, let me give it to y'all right now. Last time we left off with triple net and base rent, I want to not go there real quick. I need to go to contractors, okay? When you're starting a business or starting a build out or moving an existing business to a new building, you're going to deal with contractors, especially if you took the route that I'm going starting from ground up, okay? Different contractors is going to cause different problems. So I keep running into this issue of different contractors and them not having their shit together, okay? Basically, we live in a world where nobody want to work, but they want to get paid. So when you're dealing with a startup or a build out, you got a lot of moving parts. You got contractors. So you have electricians, you have plumbers, you have um, glass guys, you have door guys, you have um, fixtures, you have floors. All of these different contractors, because not everyone do everything. You got AC, you got the fire department, you have the exit sign, the fire extinguishers, all of these different contractors that you have to deal with when you're opening up a building or you're building out a building like I am. And when I say my biggest advice to you is to make sure when you're paying or hiring these contractors, make sure everything is on paper. All of your text message is aligning. However you're communicating, preferably email, um, that everything is kept on record, okay? Let's talk about in When you're dealing with invoices, it's the best way to pay a contractor because you have their letterhead on that, on their business information on that invoice that way you have a track record of what you're paying these contractors do not use cash app do not pay out of pocket pay with your debit card or business debit or credit card business preferably because you can write it off on your taxes or um we'll talk about that later but anyways make sure you are not paying these folks in cash or cash app that is not a legitimate way to prove anything. You need your invoices when you're dealing with these contractors, okay? So part three is about contractors. Make sure you keep your records, okay? Part four is on the way. If you missed part one and two, go catch it on my TikTok or YouTube. Use the code contractors to save 25% off right now.